If you're currently applying for a first developer job, you might see a bunch of problems. You might see the layoffs, right? You might see people making videos about the tech industry being dead, AI is taking over. There is no chance for any aspiring developer to get into because the market is absolutely saturated. The market is flooded. There is no reason to even try this. And you read these comments and you watch these videos and you read these posts and your mind is getting intoxicated. But in this video, I'm gonna show you what you actually have to do to actually crack the code and get a job in tech as a remote developer. In order for me to show you that and exemplify that it's actually possible to get a job in tech, I'm gonna show you a portfolio from one of my subscribers. And the reason why I'm gonna show you this portfolio is because he said that he has a hard time trying to you know, get interviews, passing interviews, and actually getting that offer. You might love the journey, you might love programming, but let's be honest here, you are in this for the money. Because learning code, it's not easy, okay? And you have to be a bit of a nuthead, I think that's the word, to be able to put yourself through all this pain, okay? So there has to be some sort of reward for you, and the reward is the money, the remote lifestyle, and being able to afford a comfortable life. And I've done this for myself. I taught myself code. I was a barista and I traveled all over Europe and I lived all over Europe as a remote developer and I helped many people do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you what is wrong in the current tech market. And I'm going to show you that it's not that difficult, but you should pay attention to whom you are paying attention. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is Jeremy and uh, yesterday I've made a post asking my subscribers to drop their portfolios so I can roast them to get some sort of material, you know. I asked Jeremy a few questions, his portfolio, and I said, oh my God, because I was absolutely terrified. And then he said, no luck on the job front, so I'd appreciate any advice, honestly. Well, Jeremy, you're in luck because I'm gonna absolutely destroy you, like a friend though, okay? So then I asked him a few follow-up questions because I need to know a bit more about his background. Okay, I don't want to take any advice or any opinion just like that, you know what I mean? And uh, I asked him, hey, for how long have you been coding? Are you applying to jobs? And then is coding dead? This is like a meme, right? And you'll see exactly why I'm asking if coding is dead. Well, he started in January, so that's what, 10 months? And I've probably been applying for three months now, only one phone interview, okay? And this is pretty sad, okay? And I feel bad for him. Mostly no responses at all to my applications. I feel like the market is flooded right now. So the market is flooded right now is the new scapegoat. Before it used to be recruiters are not giving any chance to juniors, and <laughs> that was true. And now the new scapegoat is the market is flooded and there are layoffs and AI. Okay, so you have three scapegoats. But if we start to look at his portfolio, absolutely terrible let's let's look at this first of all okay so the first question that you need to ask yourself when you build your portfolio if you want to make money right if you want to make money as a developer you need to pay attention to, to what i'm going to tell you because it's important okay so the first question that you need to ask yourself is who is going to see this portfolio is it going to be your mom is it going to be your daddy or is it going to be a recruiter that has no idea about technical stuff. Doesn't know the difference between Java and JavaScript, doesn't know the difference between JavaScript and React, doesn't know anything, right? But the recruiter only knows one thing, what looks good, okay? Because a recruiter, just as you, just as everyone else, is using a bunch of websites and a bunch of applications on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So then it comes and sees this space man riding a rocket with this mucus, 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 yes from like an alien, full stack developer, in specializing in Perm, blah, 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 whatever. And now he's gonna scroll down, he's gonna see this beautiful animation, like mwah, chef's kiss. And these icons, these logos are so bad quality. This is bad quality, this is bad quality, bad quality, bad quality. Awful, okay, that's the first thing, okay? But let's, let's ignore that, okay? Let's see the projects. What's really funny <laughs> is that um, he made one of these projects and the deployed application, it's a YouTube video, right? And it looks like this. Uh, absolutely shit if you ask me, Jeremy, I'm sorry to destroy your feelings. 
But look at this comment. This comment is so funny, right? How did you manage to make it look so 1998? This is not the comment that you want to hear in a, about a project in a modern portfolio from 2023. I don't care what influencers are you watching, okay? And how they hype you up and they tell you to keep going because you got this. If you do this kind of stuff, you don't deserve a job, right? In tech, as a front-end developer. Like, this is irresponsible, okay? But let's keep going. Maybe I'm a hater. I mean, this looks so horrible. Like, you cannot call me a hater when I say that this is horrible. But this is absolutely horrible, right? Like, the design is absolutely... It makes me cry, you know? Like, onions make me laugh compared with this stuff, okay? And... The reason why I'm so harsh with him is because people like him, probably, I'm not sure if he actually writes down comments like, oh, web development is dead, web development is saturated. I'm not sure if he does that, but there are other thousand people like him that are writing these comments, okay, everywhere. But if you look at their work, it's absolutely cry worthy. What should I do? My routines, activities, oh, wow. This is amazing. This is what you've done in 10 months, bro. I mean, at least you've done something. I'm going to give you props, okay, for doing something. But this is not job ready, okay? Look at this. Like, I don't even have words to describe how bad this is. I understand you want to be creative and quirky and whatnot. I truly understand you, right? But you need to understand that you need to show that you mean business, okay? You don't want to be the person that comes in and begs for work. You want to come in and solve people's problems. And the level that Jeremy is right now is very low. So. At zero, you just start out coding. At 10, you are, let's say, job ready, right? He's somewhere between one and two, okay? That's where I see him. And if it took him 10 months to get to this level, realistically speaking, if he continues progressing at this rate, okay, in four years, he should be job ready. So assuming that he keeps pushing himself, he keeps developing applications and he should quit applying to jobs right now because there is no reason to apply to jobs right now. Like I'm telling you this as a brother because if you keep applying like this, you'll be absolutely, mm, I don't know, devastated, you know? Like, I don't want you to end up in depression because this is really bad. And bro, you need to think about this. What do people actually want? What do these hiring managers want? What am I supposed to do at work? What is my job? Okay, what am I supposed to do if I'm gonna get paid six figures? What am I supposed to do for that money? Because you need to have some sort of value, okay? You need to be able to exchange some sort of value for the money that you receive, okay? I hope you understand that. Now, once you figure out that, because you have a decent base, right? You've built a base, I can see that from whatever you did there. It's a good base to start building from, okay? Maybe you have some deficiencies in certain aspects, that's fine, but I can see that you've done the hard part, okay, Jeremy, if you're watching this. You need to start reverse engineering the process. What does it mean to be a software developer? I need to build a product. What is a product? A product is a piece of software that solves a specific problem. Okay, let's find a problem to solve. It can be anything. You can even copy a problem and make it your own, right? Then you figure out exactly what you need to build. You break it down into multiple steps, multiple features. And then, and only then, you start tackling the problem and you map it out for like three, maybe six months, okay? Day in and day out, you build feature after feature after feature and you stop complaining and you stop applying to jobs. Once you have something decent that works and solves a real problem, you also need to make sure that it looks good, okay? You can buy a team. It's 100 bucks for God's sakes. You're not a designer. I can tell that you're not a designer, okay? So I would highly recommend you as a friend, okay, from the internet, I would highly recommend you 
to buy a template. Use some sort of styles that someone else made. There's no shame in that. I would be more ashamed to present myself with this than to say that I spent 100 bucks to buy a template that would help me build a product. Because I understand how difficult it is to be a junior developer. Besides the fact that learning code is extremely hard, okay, it's simple, but not easy. There are so many moving pieces. There are so much, there is so much information online. There are so many routes, roadmaps, influencers that tell you to do this and that and that, including myself, right? And after you've done all that rubbish, now you need to build a portfolio app or a product as I call it. And you also need to be the entrepreneur, the manager, the senior developer to make sure that you are writing good code, the designer. You have to wear so many hats, bro. And I understand that. What you should do, Jeremy, if you're watching this video, you should stop coding this stuff. And you should go to the first link in the description and you should apply for my mentorship. Like I'm telling you this as your buddy. You have a lot of potential and there are a bunch of guys just like you that are in this position right now and they think they are really great but in fact they are a 2 out of 10. And it's bad because I can see the potential and if you are in that situation, if you are Jeremy or not, but if you are building stuff like this and you are saying that the market is saturated, the market is not saturated, you're not good enough yet. If you don't want to do that, then you have to find the product, find the problem, solve the problem, become a designer, become a manager, find people to work with you so you can learn team skills, all this stuff. So it's up to you if you want to do it the hard way or the easier way, the less painful way. So if you're interested in that, Jeremy, or whoever is watching this, go to the first link in the description and apply for a free consultation call. I'm telling you, this is going to change your life. Like, guaranteed. And if you want to check out the program before you join, there's the second link in the description. You guys have a lot of potential and I used to be in your shoes and I know how hard it is to be stuck in space like this guy over here, but there is a way out. You just have to be smart about it. Okay. So that's pretty much the video. See ya.